happy vlogmas day 17 that means it's december 17th and we're getting closer to christmas so i hope you all are doing well it's sunday here uh, sunday afternoon we have had a busy morning went to church uh hudson was in the choir and he had a solo which he did amazing and i'll put a little boop here um or somewhere along this uh, video and then um, we came home and had lunch and then I recorded a podcast for my um, every couple of week podcast so my normal podcast I guess I should say um, so yeah it's been fun it's almost two and so I thought I would just sit down with you all and chat for a little bit and kind of move along our um, progress on my husband's Christmas socks. So this is where I was at last time we spoke yesterday and I was able to do the heel and knit for about an inch and a half on the leg. So uh, let's go ahead and move the progress keeper and we're going to go up here on the needle, maybe. It's kind of tight. <laughs> Oop, I split the stitches. That is one thing about this yarn is it's a little splitty. Okay, so back up here on the top. So I'll check back in with you tomorrow to see how far I got. I'm thinking that I'm going to do six inches on the leg, then start the two inch cuff because I have plenty of yarn. And this is, I bought two balls. What's going on here? I bought two balls of this yarn, so um, I have plenty to just keep knitting on the the leg, which I think I'm gonna do. I don't want any extra yarn laying around. Although this would be pretty good for my blanket. I could add it to that. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I have not done um, oh, let's see. I have not worked on my field sweater. I really feel like I need to get my husband's socks done before I continue working on that. Although these are moving pretty quick. But today is Sunday, which means seven days until Christmas. So I need to get these done. Maybe during Christmas break, the week between Christmas and New Year's, I will finish up my field sweater. Wouldn't that be nice? because my other yarn is all ready to start the Angus sweater by Camilla Vad. So, could I do two at the same time? Two sweaters, might be kind of fun. The, the Angus sweater is color work, so I don't know how um, smoothly that's gonna go. Um, and how challenging it is. It could be very challenging, which would then mean I would need to just knit on Sleeve Island for a while so I could do the field sweater with that. Hmm, we'll see. So for today, I, um, I don't have anything planned other than um, other than what? Nothing, I guess. So um, I was gonna make stew for my husband last night for dinner and um, I was gonna do it in the Instapot because a friend gave me an Instapot a couple months ago and I've been using it on different recipes and things to see like how it works and if the food is just as good as if you put it in a crock pot. Um, but my husband, I was busy knitting and all of a sudden I smell meat cooking on the stove and I'm like, wait, 
was he doing in there? So I went in and yep, he was cooking up the stew meat. He was chopping potatoes and carrots and I'm like, what are you doing? And he had the crock pot. <laughs> he said, well, I, I'm making the stew so that it's done by the time I want to eat. Well, in the Instapot, it takes like 45 minutes to cook. You have to prep it, but but then once it's in the Instapot, it's 45 minutes. And so I thought I had plenty of time. But if you're doing it crock pot, that's not enough time. Not enough time. So he ended up throwing it in the crock pot and putting it on high. Well, by dinner time, it was not done and it needed like three more hours of cooking. So, he went out and got Panda Express and we had a at-home date because um, Hudson was out doing Christmas lights with grandparents. So today I am kind of looking forward to just relaxing a little bit. I've been having some back problems and um, it was really debilitating this morning. I don't know why because when I woke up it felt actually really good and it hasn't been bothering me this bad since I don't know a couple weeks ago um, anyway so I'm just feeling like I need to rest a little bit and I worked yesterday so I don't know if because I was standing and lifting big heavy water around and dying. I don't know if that kind of flared it up. It's possible. They're heavy pots, you know. And then you got the yarn in there and so I just feel like I need to take it easy today. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Maybe have some spiced eggnog. <laughs> um, and a cookie. Spiced eggnog and a cookie. That sounds really good. My husband's been eating those cookies that I made yesterday, like he had some for breakfast and he said, well, it's breakfast food. You got the oats, you got the peanut butter, you got the chocolate, the butter. Oh my goodness. So anyway, that's kind of our day. Um, oh, I wanted to show you this sweet little thing that my sister gave me at church today. She had it wrapped and it was kind of busy this morning because of the Christmas program and just um, people wanting to talk and stuff that I didn't actually get a chance to talk to her. And um, so I got home and I opened this little bag and inside was this amazing thing. I wanna show it to you. Okay, let's put this down. Look at that. Look how cute it is. It's so little. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is a Turkish spindle um, and it comes apart. So you slide the shaft out and then you pull this apart and you wind the yarn around it as you're spinning. Um, and you wind it around this, it's called a turtle. Or, it's not called a turtle. The yarn, when wrapped around it, looks like a turtle with legs. Anyway, um, so I, it's so light. I mean, it it's, and it's so smooth, wow. So she made this, um, my sister, and She's very gifted. She could make these and sell them. That They are amazing. I mean, it's so balanced. Like, it just, I don't know how she did it. Very cool. Oh, so the thing about this, okay, so you compare these two. This is a top whirl. This is a Turkish. Um, this one's super heavy. This one's really light. So I was asking my sister about it. I'm like, wow, 
So she said you could spin lace weight on this one that she gave me. So lace weight yarn. The lighter, the lighter the spindle is, the thinner the yarn. And I had heard that um, after, of course, I bought this one. So this is pretty heavy, and I, it's spinning fairly heavy yarn. Like this will probably be worsted to bulky um, by the time I ply it. It's, and of course I'm just learning, so it's thick and thin on here. Um, but I am really excited to try this. So I thought I would take you along um, this afternoon and check out this little spindle. Man, how sweet is that? It is just... And what's interesting is I, you could almost use it as a, support, as a supported spindle. But again, that's kind of a whole new technique too. So, so sport, um, support spindles because your hands are in different places doing different things. Like, oh no, that's super easy. So I just have it on my leg and I spin it and then, oh, okay. And then you would draft out like this. Actually, that might be really nice. But of course, this traditionally is a drop spindle. So you would do it the same as the top roll. So that's pretty cool. Wow, thank you so much, Carmen. That was a true surprise and what a blessing. Thank you very much. Okay, so that will likely be it from here for today. Um, well, I'll take you along on different activities and stuff, but, or not different activities. I'm gonna try that Turkish spindle and uh, take you along with me. So, let me just get around here. How is your Sunday going? Are you getting some good rest? I know I always, December is a very busy month on top of our already busy lives, you know, and it's that way for everybody. I realize that. Um, but when you add Christmas and festive holiday things in the month of December, it just gets extra busy. And I need that little bit of downtime to recoup. So I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a little tired. All right, friends, I'll check back with you this evening. Happy knitting.
Well, it's Sunday evening now, almost a little after six. And um, I've done a bit of knitting and wrapping Christmas gifts. John went Christmas shopping for Hudson um, after church today. And uh, so I wrapped those up along with a few of John's gifts <laughs> that came in the mail today. So a little bit of wrapping. I also uh, just laid down for maybe 30 minutes after taking some Advil for my back. And I feel a little better. So we've had dinner and um, yeah, now we're off doing other things. John's sitting over at the table doing some leather and he's gonna be quiet while I'm on here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be on here long. Um, tomorrow, we don't have any school, so we're gonna do some quick cleaning and um, sweeping and tidying needs to happen around here. And then we're gonna go to a friend's house. I'm um, teaching a couple gals how to knit. So we're gonna do that in the afternoon. And then come home and have a quiet evening, I'm sure. So that's kind of on the docket tomorrow. Um, should be a fun day. Oops, I slipped a stitch. So. Hope you guys had a lovely Sunday afternoon. Oh, I also recorded my uh, normal podcast. So watch for that. It's going to come on Thursday. Normal. It's normally I record on Thursday, but I was dressed up in my nice new dress that I wanted to show on that podcast anyway. So I thought, eh, I might as well film today. Plus I'd done my hair and my makeup and all that. So, um, yeah, so that'll come out on Thursday. So watch for that normal day. I will also have a vlogmas that day, um, but I'll film that day <clears throat> and then put it up that night. So, all right, is that it? I think so. I think that is it. So I hope you all have a good evening making whatever it is you're making um, or sewing. I mean, I've even done sewing. Knitting, crochet, spinning. My spinning project on the other side here um, has kind of stalled. I need to get back at that as well. That's on my spinning wheel. So. Okay, that's it from here. I'll bid you all good evening, and I'll see you Monday. Good night, friends.